What is up, guys? We have some mail. We have a blade. One man, one blade. Three pieces of mail. Let's do it. This mail, Monday, is actually pretty special. We're going to see why it has a, a certain theme. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> let's just get fucking ripping, dude. Because I have been waiting for these for a while. Some of them already came in. Uh, the, the big boy that I'm cutting up right now came in today, though. I was kind of waiting for it to come in so we can group everything together. And I'm also trying to avoid showing the address label. All right. Let's see. Okay, there's another thing here. There we go. You know, I get why there's a lot of tape but when you're opening stuff, tape just sucks. All right, we are in, boys. Hopefully there's nothing else in here with my address. And let's get it out of the way. I don't think there's... Wait, there might be something else in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we got the infamous, the beautiful Ubel. So th this stuff was won by the guy at the locals, it looks like. Because, uh, yeah, so if you buy a box or just anything in locals on the release, you get a field center, which we're, we're going to... Spoilers, we're going to get more of these in one of the, of the boxes here. Uh, and then you also got an ultra-rare Goblin Biker Grand Entrance. I stopped going to these because... It just takes a long ass time, man. Um, the raffles, this you in my OTS at least, these playmats are won in raffles, and the raffles are in certain times of the day, and I don't have time to sit around waiting for a damn raffle, right? Also, the OTS that I go to uh, upcharges like hell. It's like almost twice as much to get a box. So you know, I, I ain't doing that. I mama didn't raise no fool and all that jazz, but I'm trying to see if it's, like, in good condition. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it should be new, or relatively. Uh, it kind of has some weird warping right here, though. I don't know if that's the the manufacturing or if it's the guy, but as far as the actual playmat, I mean, this is nice. The reason I got this is, obviously, your bell kicks ass, but also the Konami, uh, the retail playmats have been lackluster for quite a while. On the other side, the tournament-based ones, the OTS-based ones, are actually fucking nutty. Like, this is insane. You cannot tell me this doesn't make you want to buy this. Anyways, going forward, that's probably going to be the main, the main, uh, what's it called, uh, playmat. So we'll see... There we go. We, we got everything from underneath. All right, so this one is going to be some more field centers. And the reason is I got these actually before I bought the actual playmat with the field center and the promo. But, uh, I mean, also, these are nice, bro. I, the color, the color uh, contrast is real nice. That weird teal-looking green with the reddish, purplish background. Pretty damn nice. I, I don't know color theory. I'm ignorant in that sense, but it, it looks good to me, you know. All right. I think there should be five in here. And I, you know what? The, the OCG also had their own field centers a while ago. It was like maybe like 20th anniversary. And they had a U-Bell one, like the OG U-Bell. And those look nice as well. But hell yeah, let's go. One, two, Ooh, three, four, five. Hell yeah. Now we got six with the one the boy sent in with the playmat. All right. This one is going to be juicy, though. The OTS stores. And if you guys don't know, an OTS store is just basically a... What does it stand for? Official tournament store. And... It just basically means that Konami has sanctioned events in those stores. Like, they are actually sponsored, I guess, in a way, by Konami. Maybe sponsored is the incorrect word, because I don't think they get stuff for free. I, I, I don't think they do. But, uh, all right, let's see if the, 
I feel like it's going to have some some inform some of my information that I don't want. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So, let's see. Hell yeah. Every OTS store, and I guess they, they stopped doing it a while ago, they now get these cool-ass banners. Dude, look at this. You know, I, I'm not a guy, and I guess I can't get everything on camera here. I'm not a guy that is uh, a hobby, like, consumes his life. Like, if you look at my room, there's nothing of Yu-Gi-Oh! except in my closet. Uh, and that's about it, actually. And, and in my closet, I guess, it does have a lot of stuff. But it's mainly bulk, right? People wouldn't know that I am into Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I don't advertise it. So, I guess, all in all, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm probably not going to even hang it up. Because I'm not that guy. But you, Bell, bro. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to miss a chance to buy this banner. Like, I just ain't. Like, maybe, maybe down the line, I'll put it somewhere. Maybe... Like, if I buy a house in the garage, that would be kind of dope, right? Doing some manly shit in the garage with a U-Bell poster, breaking all the norms. But as of right now, I have no place to put this. I'm not going to probably, probably not going to hang it up. Because it, it's also huge, guys. I mean, this is about, about, about a third, maybe a, maybe a little bit more than a third of the actual size of this banner. But, goddamn, yeah, this is a very U-Bell centric Mail Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed, because I as sure as hell did. You Bell, there needs to be more You Bell products, more You Bell uh, support, definitely. But there's also actually on the topic of You Bell, there's some OCG play mats that feature You Bell and Jaden that I'm kind of having my eye on, so I might buy those, but probably not anytime soon. Catch you guys in the next one.